Welcome Eduero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will learn about human eye and colorful world. The human eye is the most sensitive organ in human body. It is like a camera which enables us to see this wonderful world. Let us now study the structure of eye. The various parts of eye are number one, cornea. It is a transparent bulge on the front surface of eyeball through which light enters. Here, this front bulging outward surface is cornea. Most of the reflection of light takes place at cornea. Second is pupil. It regulates and controls the amount of light entering the eye. Here pupil is shown. The thin membrane. Third is iris. A dark muscular diaphragm that controls the size of pupil is iris. So when we are bright light, the iris contract so that maximum uh, amount of light enters the eye. When we are uh, sorry my mistake I repeat this. When we are in bright light the iris contract so that light enters through the pupil in less amount because in, when we are in bright light maximum uh, light is present around us. When we are in dim light the iris expand so that maximum number of light enters the eye and we can see the object here. Fourth, the eye lens. The eye lens focuses the light rays on retina to form image of the object. This is the eye lens. It helps in final adjustment of the light rays so that image is formed on retina. Most of the reflection actually takes place at cornea. Number five is ciliary muscles. These are the ciliary, mu ciliary muscles. They adjust the focal length of eye lens so that we can see objects at different distances. The last is retina. It is a delicate membrane on which light rays are focused to form the image. This is the retina. This retina consists of large number of light sensitive cells. When light falls on them, they get activated and, uh, and generate electrical signals. These electrical signals sent are sent to brain through optic nerves. The brain interprets these signals and we see the object as they are. Let us now see what is meant by power of accommodation. The eye lens is made up of fibrous jelly-like material. The curvature of eye lens can be modified with the help of ciliary muscles. When ciliary muscles relax, the focal length of eye lens is maximum and we can see the distant objects clearly. When ciliary muscles contract, the focal length of eye lens is minimum and we can see the near objects clearly. But there is a limit of accommodation. Beyond certain limit, our eye lens cannot accommodate or change its focal length. For example, the near point of eye. We cannot see objects at a distance which are kept below 25 cm from the eye. This is due to le uh, limit of power of accommodation. Let us now discuss the defects of vision and their correction. The very first defect of eye is myopia. It is the disease when the uh, objects near object nearby objects can be seen clearly, but the far off objects cannot be seen clearly. Like here, the objects at infinity cannot be seen clearly as the image is not forming on retina. The cause of this disease is increase of size of eyeball. As the size of eyeball increases, the objects at infinity, their image are formed beyond the retina, beside the retina. That means the fire point of a myopic eye is less than infinity. The fire point of myopic eye is this, but the actual fire point is at infinity. Another reason is less power of accommodation of eye lens. When the eye lens cannot accommodate properly, the uh, image of the object cannot be properly formed. The correction of myopia. Myopia can be easily corrected by using a concave lens of suitable focal length. Here it is shown how the uh, rays coming from infinity first diverges by the help of concave lens and then it converges on the retina so that clear image is formed. Let us now discuss another defect of vision that is hypermetropia. Hypermetropia is the defect of vision in which a person can, can see the far off objects clearly that is far sightedness but he cannot see nearby objects clearly. As you can see 
the near point of hypermetropic eye is farther than the normal near point which is some here as it is shown in the figure now the cause of hypermetropia hypermetropia has two causes number one decrease in size of eyeball when the size of eyeball decreases the image of near point is formed beyond retina so a clear image cannot be obtained and hence the object cannot be seen clearly second is less power of accommodation lens obviously if the eye lens is not capable of accom uh, accommodating the rays properly then a clear image cannot be formed correction of hypermetropia hypermetropia can be easily corrected by using a convex lens convex lens converges the light rays which are further converged by the eye lens which is also a convex lens on the retina so that a clear image is formed on the retina and the objects can be seen clearly